Okay, birthday girl, what do you got? Well, thank Happy you birthday, first. Teresa. And also Dwight and Gentry, if you were here, we all share the same day. Very exciting. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if Gentry's flight didn't make it back Notice he's time. not acknowledging them. Now. Exactly. <laughs> well, happy birthday to them, too. Yeah. Uh, Mike, you mentioned figuring out where to hang the hat offensively. Yeah. It, is it still Derek? And, how, and, and if so, how do, you, how do you run the ball better with the group of people you have? Well, I mean, it's, it's obviously Derek. I mean, we have a lot of confidence in, in our run game. We have a lot of confidence in, in, in our runner. You know, we just have to make sure now that, um, you know, that we're all on the same page, you know, that we're, that we're blocking things the right way, that we're getting to the right guys, you know, the quarterback's getting us in the right play. And then, and then once we do that, I think you're going to start to, you know, we're all going to start to see uh, the plays that, that can complement each other and, and start to work against each other. We, we just have to, you know, you saw the, a little bit of what we wanted to be there in the first drive where I thought things were, you know, complementing each other and, you know, moving the football, uh, converting. Um, you know, Ryan had some good good throws. You know, Derek had some good runs. Guys made some good plays for us. Um, and, and then just kind of come back and, and, and just weren't able to sustain things. How are those toss sweeps in particular swarmed like they were every time it seemed? They're fast. You know, they're fast. And we thought we could get the edge. We thought we could um, – you know those plays have, have have helped us. You know those those plays have helped us and uh, in the past and you know for for a number of different reasons. You know those, those things. Um, you know when you try to to circle them up and, and try to pin them inside and, and get guys around on the edge. Um, you know everything has to has to be perfect and you know it, it wasn't and it doesn't have to be perfect. Excuse me, but we just have to make sure that we're getting guys around there and. Um, you know, those guys running inside. You know, we have to make sure we try to get the guys inside, and we've had success running those those perimeter plays. Does that change when Luan's out with the, the speed element on the edge? Um, no, I mean, we've had plays that were, you know, positive. I mean, we gained uh, one there uh, nine yards um, later on, so they weren't all all dead. Um, you know, they weren't all for, for negative gains. I think we gained one for nine yards um, later in the game. Does the same thought process that keeps you from getting too comfortable when you win keep you from overreacting when you lose? Mm, I think probably that's fair. I think we just have to um, get back. And, and, and again, these guys were ready to go. I've asked them to, you know, put this behind us as quickly as possible. Uh, it's difficult. It, it's it's never um, a great experience losing losing on the road, losing in a big game. Losing in the manner in which we lost it, we we have to move on. I think the, the guys that have been in here today so far have, have tried to do that um, and, and get back to work and get back to work together. Uh, do it uh, do it together with with all of us, the coaching staff, the players. Um, you know, working together. Caleb Front, are, are we still seeing some evidence, maybe, of his? Lack of playing time for the last couple of years, or did you expect? I think there's a lot of new experiences. I think there's a lot of, um, you know, things that that are coming to him, and you know, there there's some some good plays and some plays that he'd like to have back, and um, you know, I think it's just a continual process of of playing and, and, and understanding what what happens in this league. Time to wait along, on that, Mike. Do you think than than he is at this point, or or is this kind of where you expected him at this point? Well, I don't have you know great expectations for, for anybody. The expectations are the same, that they come in and they work, um, they prepare, they give us everything that they have, um, and they, they, they try to execute, you know, their, their job and their role. And so, you know, I think that um, seeing, seeing Caleb, there were some good plays and some plays that, you know, I think have to be better. But that wanted... goes with a lot of guys. Sorry. That's you okay. You said you didn't want to be about coaching talent. Don't you need more talent last night? Isn't Trey Avery not ready for what you asked him to do last night? I think you know, when you go into games, you just try to put the guys in the best positions, you know, to make plays. You try to um, make sure that they know what to do, that they're confident. Uh, and, and again, whoever we put out there, we have confidence in. They're, in the, they're on this team for a reason. Uh, we'll continue to look for, for guys, whether they're um, – here on our practice squad, here on our roster, or on somebody else's roster. It's just a, it's a long process throughout this season. Does your talent match their talent? Well, that's, you know, I mean, they beat us pretty soundly. We have to, 
we have to make sure that we're, we're doing the things that um, contribute to our success. And it's not, you know, giving up big plays. It's not turning the football over. Um, it's not, you know, mishandling um, punts, you know, all those things that, that showed up last night that, that make things snowball. Defensively, you guys, much of what you do is predicated off the pass rush. What were they doing last night in particular to kind of neutralize that rush and, and, and not allow you to get to the island very often? Um, you know, they're in the game, you know, we had third and nine. Uh, we got to him and, and he was able to get out of there. I felt like we, we, we executed up until the point where he, you know, scrambled and gained uh, 10 yards. Um, you know, the ball, ball came out quick. And then, you know, the other times they, they blocked us and were able to, to move the ball down the field. They did a nice job, um, you know, on the, on the RPOs where, where he pulled it um, and got rid of the ball. You know, efficiently and, and pretty quickly, and you know, we just we have to make you know continue to find ways to affect the quarterback, impact them. We we did it again. There were times where you look at the the game plan, talking about not letting them out, um, trying to affect them, trying to tip some passes. Um, you know, we did, but then there were numerous other times where where we didn't do a good enough job. Can you play to the offensive identity you've been known for and want to play to with the off with the roster you currently? Have? Um, yeah, I mean, I think that that's, that's what we, you know, we are going to do, you know, we are, we are, we, we have to, to, to understand who we are and what we believe in, uh, what we've had success in, in the past. Um, th this isn't uh, all of a sudden the time for, for wholesale changes. You know I mean? This is about, you know, getting back to the basics and, and what we believe in, what we've had success in and, uh, making sure that, that everybody sees it the same way that, uh, that I do, you know, I think we're going to. We're going to make sure that we we're, we're doing less better, you know, instead of trying to do a whole bunch of other stuff. We're, we're going to get back to to doing things with with fundamentals and and, and technique and, and trying to make sure that everybody understands the details. With these two games that you have under your belt, you know, the the process with with Tim Kelly and, and Todd Downing, how, how has that been? You know, the week leading up to the game, then also during the game, how has that process been? To run, no process that we've had has been good enough on, on offense, on defense, or special teams. So, you know, whether it's Chase and Auk, whether it's Timmy and, and Todd, whether it's uh, Shane and defensive staff, Jim, me, whoever, um, none of it's been good enough. You know what I mean? When you lose, um, we, we all could do more. You know, everybody has to, 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 to come in here a little bit um, better with our approach, uh, just kind of can continue to uh, focus on all the little things and and just trying to bring somebody along with us. You know, we all get in this mode where it's like, oh man, I feel now is not the time for self-preservation. This is the time for, you know, rallying around each other, getting, um, you know, with the people that you believe in, the people that you trust. And so with, with that being said, you know, so many fans, they say, hey, you know, as soon as something goes, goes wrong, it's like, hey, fire coast coast Downing. Uh, how do you respond to that? That's just not, you know, I mean, I, if, if I felt like there was anybody that, um, you know, wasn't doing their job, uh, to, you know, we're just not going to do that. That's not something that's going to happen right now. I have confidence in our staff. I have confidence in the guys that we put out there. We have to, we have to continue to, to, to coach um, and, and execute uh, better. But that's, you know, that's just not where we're, you know, that, that's, I appreciate everybody's, you know, opinion. I, I have to make sure that, you know, everybody here that, Players and coaches are, are all aligned, and I know that they are, uh, and that's how you get things fixed and, and you win a game. Will you continue with Kyle as the punt returner after two muffs in two games? Uh, you know, I think that those are some decisions that will probably, um, you know, take place um, as the week goes on, kind of seeing, you know, how he feels and, and, and what, uh, you know, what Craig and I decide. But, you know, we'll see where that's at. You know, that's just, you know, he's helped us. Um, and, and done a really nice job, unfortunately. Um, like you said, you know, the two um, muffs in, in the last uh, two weeks. Do you consider, I guess, a lot of things on the offensive line, depending on Taylor and, and maybe has, has Nicholas Petit for your play, could you potentially bump him to left? Well, I think we would consider everything uh, at this point in time, Jim, with, with every position group. How's that group? Done. Where where are the failings specifically, Mike? Uh, you know, 
they're, they're all, all over the place, all over everybody's the coaching staff, the roster. Um, it, it's not just, you know, one guy. You know I mean? There's guys that are playing well. We get something blocked up, and, you know, one guy doesn't get to his landmark or the back's cut, the receiver's blocked. Like, you know, this isn't, like, time to sit there and say, well, this is where the – you know, we're failing. We just have to make sure that the we've got a group of eight linemen that are up for the game, that understand uh, what the game plan is um, and, and how we need to execute it. You know, there were some some really good plays. I, I thought that we handled the the, the cadence in, in a tough environment. You know, we just couldn't sustain and, and, and get anything going there after the first drive. And, you know, the penalty is unfortunate. We hit some really cool plays. I mean, we converted a third and third and extra long where – we're, we're three guys. I thought that was a, a, a great scheme. I thought a great execution. The guys were all doing their job, you know, helping Traylon. It was well-timed, well-executed, you know, well-designed. So we need more plays like that, uh, and just hopefully not on third and 15 or whatever it was. In terms of sticking to your identity, Mike, as you, as you mentioned earlier, I mean, two weeks into the season, there's only so much you can change, right? You can't overhaul a complete offense two weeks into the season, right? Well, that's just not, you know, I mean, that's not where we're at right now. We're at, you know, focused on, on Vegas and how they, you know, can attack us and, you know, the, their, their edge players and, and Jones and, and Max and, you know, the, their ability to, you know, bring safeties and the pressure and the different looks and, um, you know, different coverages, split safety, post safety, uh, the versatility, obviously offensively what they have, the weapons that they have, the skill players that they have and, you know that that that's where our focus is. Our focus is who's available, uh, who who might be able to help us, and, and what can we get, and what can we teach them. Is Taylor's injury a season ender, and is it the same leg that he hurt before? Uh, as of now, I don't really have any updates on that. I think we're still going through some some evaluation. Um, we'll try to keep you updated on that as it comes. How about Bud? Uh, I don't think it's anything long term. After the start, Mike, how much? Building or rebuilding of confidence? Do you have to do in there? Well, I think confidence is something that that comes from repeated uh, action. You know, starting with practice. You know, we believe practice is important. The the things that you do in practice will will lead to to game reality. You know, we just have to make sure that we're we're executing those plays in practice. That we're we're drilling them. We're working them. Um, you know, and then just making sure that that we're showing guys we haven't lost confidence or faith in, in what we're doing or what we've done. That that's not going to happen, or the players that we have. Um, so excited to get back to work. Despite the start being underwhelming, not what you had hoped for, is there a sense of maybe some optimism or a little bit more confidence with things in the division not going well for some? I don't. Other teams I don't want well? us to do that. You know, I mean, I thought about that. I don't want us to look around at anything outside this building. I want us to uh, to to focus on the people that are here, uh, the people on our staff, the players, the coaches because this is really what, what's going to get it done. This is what it's going to turn it around, not, not looking around and seeing what everybody else is doing. We have to, we have to focus really on what we're doing. How do you Traylon take another step yeah. forward, maybe as a potential playmaker in the past game? Uh, I mean, he did, did some good things. We'll need to continue to, to work on some things as well. Um, you know, I think there were, there were good efforts from, from pretty much everybody, but there were just not enough, not enough of them. Um, you know, we just didn't didn't get going or didn't play the game complimentary enough, uh, obviously. If there are good you... efforts from everybody, does that make it more discouraging? That you no, I just they weren't consistent enough. You know, they just weren't consistent enough. Um, you know, getting those stops, coming back, uh, trying to answer, needing to answer, you know, giving up the touchdown, you know, having the, the, the penalty come back, the difference and – Yardage and then the fourth down, you know, just those are those are key plays in the game that, you know, can can really swing it. And then just the way that you know we weren't able to get going there in the second half coming out. What are some of those things maybe about Burks that you're that you're seeing some of those good things in terms of his progression? I think he's trying to play faster. I think he's he's playing bigger. He's got to, you know, he's got to play through contact more. I mean, they, you know, they were on him pretty tight there on the backside. Ryan tried to come to him so. Just, you know, he's, he's playing, he's trying to run, he's trying to, you know, he's, he's been good with the football, you know, as far as tracking it and, and trying to go get it. 
Um, so, well, we'll see where it goes this week and what his opportunities are. Mike, with the penalties, you, you, under you, you've been a pretty good uh, team as far as not doing the dumb shit to hurt the team. Uh, little, Happy is it birthday. maybe a combination? <laughs> <laughs> well, is it maybe a combination of so much youth uh, on the roster these well, first no, two I mean, weeks? No, it, it just, I think there were some, you know, you, the PI, we, we, we grab him inside his collar and, you know, holding, you know, beats us across the face. Um, you know, we grab him at the point of contact. Some of these things, you know, those aren't necessarily um, dumb. You know, I mean, I felt like if we're out there throwing punches or we're the second guy in, you know, those things or we're, we're hitting a guy two yards out of bounds late or a quarterback that's um, already slid that we're hitting in the head or neck, um, I, I would consider those things avoidable. You know, some of those things that are out there that, that happen in the course of, of a play, you know, those, those, those are going to happen. And, and we'll have to work through them, and we have – we have to be, have better discipline at the line of scrimmage, you know, working some of the cadence when, they, when they're trying to, you know, in those situations to, to get us to, to jump. Um, you know, when guys are echoing it, you know, just being able to lock in and focus and concentrate. What's the point of, of Josh Gordon if he's getting two snaps before halftime? Mm, you know, he can't always determine the way that the game is going to play out and, and what we're going to do. So we'll, we'll see where his role is this week. Close enough, you could have gotten a review there. Um, you know, talking to stretch, it looks like he, you know, from the replay was, um, you know, that he hadn't caught it. I didn't think he caught it clean the first time, you know, so, but I mean, I was hoping that he caught it the first time. Forward to Josh on the other sideline this weekend. Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, go way back with Josh, obviously, you know, growing up in Northeast Ohio. Um, you know, he's, he's a, Excellent football coach, um, you know somebody that I was able to to see grow as a player, and then, then you know go on as you know his his further his coaching career as I kind of got into mine, and you know he's done a fantastic job, and I'm I'm sure he'll have his football team ready.